back to another episode of Poppin' with Trinity. Unfortunately, what's popping in my world this week is the really heartbreaking death of Chad Bozeman. He passed this weekend in his home. Um, he died from a four-year battle with colon cancer. That, that really hurts um, to just really come to grips with that because Chadwick Bozeman is someone who has been a real hero on screen and off screen. He's been so active, you know, in the community and standing up for what's right, as well as, you know, just being a, a good stand up citizen. So just knowing that he's not here on earth with us, it really hurts. It really does hurt. You never know what someone is battling no one knew other than Bozeman's close, close friends and family that he was battling colon cancer. So if someone may seem, you know, off or they may be having a bad day, you never know what they could be battling with internally, medically, or even at home. So take this time to love the people around you. And I've been doing this a lot since Chadwick Bozeman's passing. And just make sure that the people around you know that you love them because you never know when it's going to be someone's last moment with you and you want to make sure that they know that you love them. But, you know, it takes a lot of strength and a lot of courage to be able to battle colon cancer, going through chemo and other therapies. Bozeman gave, you know, kids, teens, adults, even the elderly, something to look up to in all the various characters that he's played um, during his movies. You know, he played James Brown in Get On Up. He played Jackie Robinson in 42. And he played one of the iconic characters in Gods of Egypt. He actually played the Gods of Wisdom. So just that alone, those are just a few of his most popular movies. He portrayed iconic characters and he gave amazing performances. But something that has really been the most touching were some of his co-stars and fellow actors' tributes to him in his passing. Um, one of my favorite stories is actually Angela Bassett's story and her actually interesting connection with Chad Bozeman. So she received an honorary degree from Howard University and ironically enough, Chad Bozeman was the student who escorted Angela Bassett around campus as she was receiving her honorary degree. So this was so amazing to learn how life really comes around in a circle how they met back then, but in the filming of Black Panther, Angela Bassett did not really recall that Chadwick Boseman was the one who escorted her around campus until he reminded her. So that was something that was super, super sweet that we would have never known or never even realized if it had not been for the filming of Black Panther. But another hilarious story comes from Denzel Washington. Denzel Washington actually paid for Chadwick Boseman's college education. And when Denzel Washington came to the premiere of Black Panther, he told Chadwick Boseman that he did not come to see the movie or even come to see Boseman act. He came to collect his money for paying for Chadwick's education. That is so funny and it just shows how there's always people that are gonna be around you who are there to help you. And it's awesome to see how they've been able to keep a relationship throughout these years, you know, from Bozeman's college education um, up until his recent passing. But Chadwick Bozeman was our generation's superhero. He was and still is our representation of strength not only for the African-American community, but for people and communities all around the world. Playing T'Challa slash Black Panther was a extremely strong character and an extremely strong role to play. And Chadwick Boseman did it with such elegance and such grace, and it could not have been played by anyone else. 
But even though this, this is a really hard time for myself and people all around the globe, we have to look at it from a different perspective. You know, now we know that Chadwick Boseman is in a much better place. You know, he's in a place where there is no suffering, where there is no pain, and there is no colon cancer. So now we have to realize that being absent from the body is to be present with the Lord. Now we have a Black Panther angel looking down on us from heaven. And even though we would have much preferred him here with us on earth, now we know that Chadwick Boseman is safe, he is happy, and I know that he's going to be living a better life as an angel, our Black Panther angel. And now we're going to be able to reflect on all of his amazing movies and all the amazing work that he's done for the community. I love you guys and I'll see you for the next episode of Poppin' with Trinity, Wakanda forever.